Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today I'm sharing with you my tips and tricks for getting ready quickly in the morning to look presentable. So if you're like me and you have to travel for business for a number of days on end, every minute counts because typically you're out with your coworkers or whatever it is till 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sometimes at night. And you need to be up in the morning and out of the door by like 6.30, so every minute of sleep counts. So I've been doing this for years and it helps so much. I'm sure I've mentioned some of these in videos. In fact, I have videos on these things, but I've never really combined it into one video to help you save time in the morning. I also do this if I'm going on a long vacation and I don't wanna do a whole routine that's gonna take me an hour, but I still wanna look presentable. A lot of these things come in handy. And then this can also apply to your everyday life. If you have to get up and out the door and you have to get the kids ready, or you have to get to a train or whatever it is, all of these things can really help cut down your morning routine. With this, I can get up and out the door with a full face of makeup in 20 minutes and it's super, super nice to get the extra Z's in the morning. So if you are interested in seeing it's just seven, seven quick, simple tips to help you get ready quicker in the morning, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so a lot of these things are gonna depend on your budget and a lot of this stuff you could do at home. So I'm gonna mention what I do, but feel free to do some of this stuff at home. Look on Groupon for coupons, that always helps. Or just kind of figure out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. All of these things might not work for you. I just prefer them because I've gotten in a routine over the years and figured out what works for me. So feel free to kind of just pick and choose what works for you as I go through these, but I'm gonna share everything with you. So the first thing we have is getting your brows done. There is nothing more irritating in the morning when you go in and you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta pluck here, I gotta pluck here, and then it turns into like a full session of plucking your brows and then you're red and irritated. So get your brows threaded, waxed, shaved, whatever you do before you leave and I promise it will help you in the morning get ready quicker because you're not gonna be worried when you're doing your makeup about plucking here and plucking there. I know that's probably something we all do but I've gone on trips and I've forgotten about it and then I've taken time in the morning to have to do it and I just don't feel quite as presentable when my brows aren't groomed so I always make sure to do that. Woo, my voice. Woo. I've just started this video and I'm already losing it, but I was just on a week long trip, so that's probably why. But anyway, I make sure to do that at least two days before I go in with my next step, which is number two, tint your brows. This saves me so much time in the morning. You guys know if you fill in your brows, how long that can take. That is one of the most lengthy steps in a makeup routine. That's why we always fast forward through it here on YouTube because it takes so much time. Tinting your brows, and I have a whole video on this, so I'll link this down below or up here somewhere. It'll be there, but tinting your brows makes such a difference. I don't have to fill them in at all personally because I have pretty full brows when I tint them. So all I do is set them up and I'm out the door and that saves me sometimes even 10 minutes. That's how long it can take me to fill in my brows sometimes. So absolutely try tinting your brows. You can get them done professionally at first and then maybe hold a mirror up and kind of pull tips and tricks or you can watch my video. I share with you exactly what I do. I highly recommend using, I think it's called Godfrey. I think that's what I use. I can't remember. I took it out of the container, but I highly recommend that because it doesn't go on too heavy. If you use the just for men ear stuff, that stuff can go on really heavy. Sometimes I watch people here on YouTube do it and I'm like, you got some brows on, you know what I mean? This stuff is kind of foolproof, so I highly recommend if you're a beginner starting out with that and then kind of moving in or getting it done professionally wherever you get your brows threaded or waxed, be weary. I got mine done at a place that I get my brows threaded once and they really went outside the line. So if you are gonna get them done professionally, make sure you're holding a mirror and making sure they're not like going above because I had to scrub the heck out of my brows when I did that. That was the first and last time I did it. So anyway, I digress, but I would highly, highly recommend tinting them after and it hold off at least two days because when you get them waxed or threaded, the pores are kind of still open. I think that's what it is. I don't know, but I have gone in like the day after I got them uh, threaded and holy cow, it hurt like heck. So make sure to wait a couple of days, but highly recommend that. I promise you of all these things that will save you so much time. Okay. Number two nails. So I 
always get a dip manicure before I go on a long extended vacation. I have some of the, and I know I have horrible little tiny sausage fingers, but you know, this is what God blessed me with. So anyway, I have the most chippy nails in the world. If I get a regular manicure, my nails will immediately chip. So I was so used to traveling with nail polish remover pads, and then I'd sit there in meetings and I'd pick at it. Doing dip or no chip, whatever works for you, I prefer dip. I think it lasts a lot longer and it's supposed to be healthier for your nails, but they're still using one of those like scrapey things on your nails so I don't think any of it is really healthy for your nails but anyway it makes such a difference not having to worry about your nails when you're on vacation or even in the morning or if you're on a work trip it saves so much time I don't have to pack as much I don't have to pack nail polish remover nail polish I don't have to worry about it you just don't have to think about it and it saves so much time if your nails don't chip and you're blessed with these beautiful nails that I am so envious of, just get a manicure or paint your nails before you go and then maybe pack away the nail polish just in case something chips. But I have to resort to the no chip, but it really, really makes a difference for me personally. This is a week and a half old and it still looks amazing. So it just saves so much time for me in the morning and in general. And for me, I have to have my nails done, especially on a work kind of trip. I just think it makes you look so much more presentable. Normally you see me on here with no nail polish on at all because of the chipping. It's really, really bad. They chip same day, like I said. So when I am on a work vacation or even a vacation personally, I want them to look nice. So I do too. Okay. Number four, tan before you leave, especially if you're going on a vacation you will feel so much better. I know that's kind of self-explanatory, but getting a tan before you leave just makes you feel a little more put together. For me, it just makes me feel a little more pretty when I have a tan on, which is why I do it before I go on a business meeting. I don't feel like I need to put as much foundation on. I feel like my skin looks better. I feel like I look healthy, especially like I said, Typically on my business trips and on vacations, you're out pretty late and you're getting up pretty early. So feeling like you look healthy without having to pile on the makeup makes things a lot easier. Again, cutting back on the makeup routine time when you have a tan on, or when I have a tan on, I shouldn't say you because I don't know how you are, but when I have a tan on, I just feel like I look a lot more put together and a lot healthier in general. So definitely make sure to get your spray tan. I meant spray tan, I don't think I said that. Don't tan in a tanning bed. It's just not good for you. Get a spray tan. I personally use Bondi Sands. My favorite is the like one hour express one. I leave it on for three hours to get the darkest color. That This is the color it leaves me. It makes me look super healthy. I don't look like I've been on a tropical vacation for three weeks, like super dark, like the loving tan. And I don't look super light. I just look like I have a healthy glow. And it just makes my routine so much easier in the morning. So. Going off of that one, we have number five. That is bringing along a tanning face serum. So you're washing your face every night, right? And then you might even wanna bring something for your hands as well. I don't typically do that, but definitely your face. I don't have one. I actually have one coming to me from Sephora. I'll put a picture up here. It's the Drunk Elephant. I think it's called D Bronzy. So I can kind of touch up throughout the week when I'm on some kind of vacation or even in your daily life, whatever it is your face because you're washing it twice a day hopefully the tan's gonna come off a lot quicker than the rest of your body like right now from here up my face is very very pale i just have makeup on right now so bringing along a tanning serum i know clinique has one as well that you can just put all over your face before you put your makeup on helps as well you can even do that and forgo the makeup maybe touch up a little concealer and make your makeup routine even shorter so i'm definitely recommending that for a tip to get ready quicker again i don't use one i had one from ulta that i used up it was like drops that you put into your moisturizer at night and then you woke up in the morning and your face just had a glow that works as well I think Luxie tan or something like that has those as well that will work as well just something to kind of substitute when the tan kind of comes off of your face and your neck will help you kind of get ready faster cut down on the makeup routine as well okay hopefully I'm not too much of a different color here I just had to get the door for FedEx and sometimes it makes me look a little bit orange but 
We are almost done here. I have two more tips for you. Number six being get a professional blowout. So in the last like five or so years, little blow dry bars have popped up all over. We have probably 10 in Chicago. They're all over New York. They're like on every corner in New York. They're in LA, they're in Boston. So if you live in a fairly big city and if you don't live in a big city where there's a blow dry bar, just go to your hairstylist get a professional blow dry because they last so much longer, at least for me, and I think I kind of know what I'm doing with hair. When I get a professional blowout, it will last three or four days on end and I don't have to do anything to it. I bring along a little straightener because for me, if I want my hair to last, I have to straighten it. I did not straighten my hair today. This is just blow dried hair and I know it's a little bit frizzy and just, it's too hot for that right now, but I get my hair blow dried straight because then I don't have to worry about the curls. I don't have to worry about touching up curls on my trip. Sometimes I bring up the straightener. Sometimes I don't. This last one I didn't and my hair was totally fine. It just makes your hair last so much longer so you don't have to worry about bringing along your five products that you typically blow dry your hair with. You don't have to worry about using the blow dryer in the hotel which typically isn't the best. It makes such a difference for me for getting ready in the morning. I take my showers at night. I'll body shower, keep my hair in one of the caps. I bring along a cap because typically, I don't think hotels give you those anymore unless you're in like a super fancy hotel. I always bring a little shower cap, body shower at night so I don't have to worry about that in the morning. And then I get up, I brush out my hair and I'm really ready to go because Professional hairstylists just know what they're doing. Obviously, when it comes to your hair, they know not to put in too much product. That's typically my thing. My product in my hair, because I go in ham, builds up, and then my hair looks oily in like two days, and then I have to wash it at the hotel, and I just don't like that. I don't like bringing the extra products that it takes to get my hair going when I'm on vacation. So that is a huge tip that I just started doing in the last few trips I took and it just makes a world of a difference for me. So definitely wanted to include that one. And the seventh and final tip is if you're going on a long vacation and you're really wanting to look, you know, good at all times. So I wouldn't do this on one of my business trips and it is something that a lot of people do in their daily life, but if I'm ever going on a vacation where I know there's gonna be pictures and it's like a week long, I will get lash extensions. Now I know lash extensions are expensive, it's an investment and they're definitely something that you have to put in a little more time in at night. You have to kind of, well, it depends on you take your shower. When you take your shower, for me, it's at night. You have to blow dry them, but it makes getting ready in the morning so quick because your lashes are done. For me, doing my lashes take forever. I always end up getting a little bit of um, mascara up on my, you know, kind of like the hood right there. My lashes kind of hit it. So anyway, getting lash extensions just makes me feel so ready in the morning. It's one of those things where you put on a little bit of lip gloss and you're ready to go. If you did have that drunk elephant like bronzing serum, you would put that on, you have your lashes on, throw on a gloss and you're out the door. It really, really makes a difference if you need to look presentable for pictures. So again, it is an investment. That is one that is a little more expensive. So I don't do that that often. That's only, like I said, if I'm going on a trip where I know there's going to be a lot of pictures and I just don't want to have to deal with putting on my falsies or really beefing up my lashes, that is definitely a good option. So I wanted to mention that one as well. And that is it for my tips for getting ready quickly in the morning. I hope this video was helpful to some of you. This made such a difference this past week traveling. I got ready in 20 minutes. Like I said, I was out the door and a lot of this, I didn't get the lashes because it was a work trip. And if I had lashes, people would probably be like, what? You know what I mean? But anyway, it made getting ready so quickly and I highly recommend at least trying some of these. So let me know if you guys have any questions below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks again. Bye-bye.